Okay, here's another wow video here. Um, part 284C3M1A. And it's line 22F1FA19C3M1A. A wave tube argon gas communication 5G wow SETI. So there's the alien radio signal. And data quotes are from Wiki. A cutaway view of a helix TWT electron gun. RF input, magnets, attenuator, helix coil, RF output, vacuum tube collector. Traveling wave tube. A traveling wave tube. These are quotes from Wiki, just so you know. Traveling wave tube TWT is a specialized vacuum tube used in electronics to amplify radio frequency signals to high power, usually as part of an electronic assembly known as traveling wave tube amplifier. The bandwidth of a broadband TWT can be as high as one octave, although tunnel narrowband versions exist and operating frequencies range from 300 megahertz to 50 gigahertz. The voltage gain of the tube can be of the order of 70 decibels. Description, the device is an elongated vacuum tube with an electron gun, a heated cathode that emits electrons at one end. A magnetic containment field around the tube focuses the electrons into a beam which then passes down the middle of an RF circuit. Wire helix or coupled cavity that stretches from the RF input to the RF output. The electron beam finally striking a collector at the other end. A directional coupler which can be either a waveguide or an electronic magnetic coil, electromagnetic coil fed with the low powered radio signal that is to be amplified is positioned near the emitter and induces a current into the helix. The RF circuit acts as a delay line in which the RF signal travels at near the same speed along the tube as the electron beam. The electromagnetic field due to the RF signal in the RF circuit interacts with the electron beam causing bunching of the electrons in effect called velocity modulation and the electromagnetic field due to the beam current then induces more current back into the RF circuit. The currents build up and thus is amplified as it passes down. A second directional coupler positioned near the collector receives an amplified version of the input signal from the far end of the RF circuit. Attenuators placed along the RF circuit prevent reflected wave from traveling back to the cathode. Higher powered helix TWTs usually contain beryllium oxide, ceramic as both a helix support rod and in some cases as an electron collector for the TWT because of its special electrical mechanical and thermal properties. So July 22nd, 2012 is when I was originally working on this um, data and now I'm filming it November 23rd, 2012. So my thoughts, the formula idea, a liquid argon gas, a neutrino beam, use this for a communications device into outer space. Search other wow data for ideas that come up and add to this. Do more research on it, blogging in the next few videos. So basically, um, the next few videos I'm working on is, is on a communications device that goes deep into space. And I found some pretty cool stuff. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.